As we start today's lecture, we see we have one file only in our public HTML folder, and that's index.html. Well, that won't do. We've got to have some pages to link to. First thing we're going to do is create a folder called world, because we're going to put a photo from somewhere in the world in a web, tied to a web page in there. So let's take a look. We're also going to create a folder called images. And throughout the semester, we're going to have multiple groupings of images. So when we create that images, we're then going to put inside of it a folder called geography, because we're going to have photos from around the world. Now, the four photos that I've placed in geography right now uh, happens, let's see, one of them's from North America, the Vineyard Sunset. We got Andorra, that's from Europe, and a couple ones from South America as well. It doesn't really matter where they're from, just that's the ones I've chosen. Now I'm going to begin with a, a typical uh, document, HT, doc type HTML. Uh, that's, of course, the uh, indicate that we're using HTML5. Okay, and inside our head, of course, we have a title. We've decided we're going to choose the European photo for today. And by the way, when I get this all done, I'm going to run it through something called the, a web page validator. This one happens to be on w3schools.com, and you can find a link off of there. What you do is you cut and paste the URL of your page, and you click validate this page, and it will tell you whether or not you've met code for HTML5. One of the things I'm also putting in here is a meta tag, character set or uh, care set equals UTF-8, that's in quotes, and that's just telling you the um, web browser what kind of a, a character set I'm using. Now, you'll notice in my root folder, in addition to index.html, I've got a style.css. We haven't discussed what's in that file, but just that that file exists, and we need to know that. Uh, I'll show you what's actually in it. I've got a section called default, and it just shows the background color, a font family, and a font size. In another video, we'll discuss CSS files, but I've got some data in there. That's all I'm showing you. And the reason I put that is so that you can see the link, rel equals style sheet, href equals, and in this case, I have a dot dot slash style dot CSS. And then, of course, type equals text slash CSS. The reason for that dot dot slash is because this file, which is my Europe.html file, I haven't named it yet, but that's what I'll name it, is inside the world folder. But the style.css is one above that. It's in the folder above world, in the public HTML folder. And that's why you've got to put dot dot slash, because that means go up a folder and find the file called style.css. You notice I also have a body class equals default, so that just tells you what the font size is going to be and, and uh, color um, of that area. Now, I put my header H1, just called it Europe, and just for fun, I threw in a comment here. It doesn't actually do anything. That's not, and comments aren't displayed, but they allow you to, if you, if you have that uh, lesson symbol, exclamation point, slash, uh, dash, dash, you can put your comment as long as it ends with a dash dash greater than symbol. And it doesn't have to all be on one line. In this case, it is. But that allows me to put in other code if I wanted to, just notes to myself, like perhaps the day I wrote this or uh, the purpose of this page or whatnot. Now, what it, the purpose of this page is just to, to really display an image. So an image has an image tag. Although images don't have a beginning and an ending, they just have an IMG tag. They don't have a slash IMG, one of the few that doesn't. However, it does have some stuff on the inside, like, for instance, source equals. Now, let's look at this source. Dot, dot, slash, we just learned, means go up a folder. So if you're in the world folder and you go up a folder, you end up in the public HTML. And then go into images. And then go into geography. And what are you going to find there? A photo called Andorra.jpg. There's no spaces in any of that. It's all lowercase, and it's important to recognize that because that's the only way it's going to find that file. And then I added something called an alt, an alt tag uh, attribute. And these are the words that would appear um, as a reader for someone who's blind that, that might have a, a reader. And it would just say Andorra, a mountainous country. That's all it would say. I'm going to add a paragraph. 
And in there, the paragraph just says, Andorra is a country that is situated between France and Spain in the Pyrenees Mountains. <clears throat> and then I'm adding my first hyperlink reference. A is an anchor. So greater than, I'm sorry, less, less than symbol A begins that. And if you look all the way past index.html, there's a greater than symbol. And that means uh, that's the beginning of the A. Then it says list of world pages. And then I have a slash A that closes it. Now inside of that A, though, I have an href equals. It says index.html. notes, no dot dot slash, which means this says a list of world pages, which is going to be looking for a file called index. And it's going to be in the same folder that Europe is in. I told you I'm going to name this Europe. Now, that, that page doesn't actually exist yet, but it's going to be a hyperlink to it, which means that list of world pages, that text is going to be hyper. That's what hypertext is, text that does something. So when you click on a list of world pages, you would get that file if it existed. Now, one page that does exist is, uh, I've got an href here to dot dot slash index.html. And that again means go up one folder. So if I'm in the world folder, in a file called Europe.html, and I do, I click on the word home there, that's my hypertext, it's going to take me up one folder to a file called index.html, and that of course is uh, my home page that I've created previously. When you look at the file, you can see it shows a picture of Andorra, so we can find that, and a little paragraph of text, and the two uh, hyperlinks.